Today, we're diving into the sewers and taking a blast to the past with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Manhattan Missions. Kyle Bunga dudes and dudettes! Released way back in 1991 for MS-DOS, Manhattan Missions gave Turtle fans a chance to join the pizza-loving ninjas on yet another adventure. Konami wasn't behind this title, even though they still sported the Konami title screen. Instead, it was developed by Distinctive Software and published by Ultra Games. I truly do feel this lost Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game, Manhattan Missions, should have been included in the the Kawabunga collection that was just recently released, but unfortunately it wasn't. This wasn't your regular beat em up. It's got that movie vibe with April O'Neil looking like she just walked off the movie set but rocking her iconic yellow jumpsuit. And can we talk about Casey Jones? For the first time in TMNT gaming history, our hockey mask vigilante is here, swooping in to rescue our turtle boys when they are dead down considering the tech limitations in 1991 manhattan missions packs a punch dark gritty and the artwork oozing that comic book charm plus it's the only game where the turtles origin story feels like it's straight out of the blockbuster movie itself and man does it deliver <laughs> One thing that stood out with this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game was that the game's attempt at a deeper narrative. There are moments where you would treat it to some dialogue and story bits to give context to your missions. For the game of its time, it was pretty rad. As your traditional story, New York is in Pearl, classic TMNT style. Our heroes gotta take down villains left and right with Shredder as the big baddie. The gameplay was super immersive, each turtle bringing their A game and having their own set of abilities with the weapons that they use. <laughs> What truly sets Manhattan Missions apart from the other Turtle games is that it had story depth. You'll find moments dripping with dialogue, context, and cutscenes giving a depth to our Turtles adventures like never before. And for a game that came out in 1991, this was huge. Let me know your favorite Ninja Turtle down in the comments and also let me know if you've ever played Manhattan Missions. Manhattan Missions, while darker and grittier, had a feeling like it was the first original Ninja Turtle game on Nintendo, where it had that open world feeling, only you couldn't drive the turtle van, but this game definitely had more graphical details in it since it was released on PC and not Nintendo. I really, really wish we could get a modern release of Manhattan Missions or if they would release it as DLC to the Cowabunga Collection. Manhattan Missions should have been included in the Cowabunga Collection, just like I mentioned in the beginning of this video. It's a shame Manhattan Missions was forgotten about, dudes and dudettes. <laughs> Just like the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games released on Nintendo NES system, Manhattan Missions, you could switch between your turtles and you had an open world map where you can select your missions and go about it whichever way you want it to to get to Shredder. And when I say it was the perfect movie tie-in, literally, it had characters like Tatsu. You remember Tatsu, don't you? I truly believe Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Manhattan Missions is 
worth revisiting today if you're a diehard ninja turtles fan or looking for some retro gaming fun i have included a link down below in the description so you can play this there is no downloading required all you have to do is play it through the web browser radical dudes and dudettes i hope you give this a playthrough you won't regret it Cowbunga dudes and dudettes, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know down in the comments your favorite Ninja Turtle game and if you plan on playing Manhattan Missions. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribing. Have a good day!